This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. In this video, we'll take a look at accessing healthcare applications and desktops in a secure way from any device at any time using Parallels RAS. Parallels RAS provides clients for various different platforms, including Windows, iOS, macOS, Chrome, Android, and many more. In this demo, we'll use the web client. In this example, I use a Windows device and a browser, and I have already logged on to the web client. That authentication step can, of course, also include our integrated support for MFA and fast user switching to provide the best balance between security and user experience. This healthcare employee has access to a few published desktops coming from VDI, RDSH, as well as Azure Virtual Desktop. Furthermore, the employee also has access to healthcare-specific applications based on group membership and a few other defined conditions and policies. Let's start by opening up a published application. In this case, Open Hospital, which is an open source healthcare application. As you can see, this is a traditional Windows application, like many other healthcare applications out there. I'm now accessing it using a local browser only. And as a result, any data that I consume within the application is not stored on the local device. And I can still access this application as if it were installed locally. The application runs on the data center side or on the cloud side. And as a result, it can also be close to any application backend that requires to allow for optimal performance. Next, let's open a published web application. In this case, it's Libra Health, which again is an open source healthcare application. This application contains radiology section as well, which allows me to access CT scan images and videos. Similar to before with the Windows application, the data that I consume here is not stored on the local device. It is securely accessed by using a published web browser. Since this published browser is running on the data center or cloud side, it uses the resource power on the data center or cloud side to play the CT scan video. As you can see, this allows for a very smooth experience. Let's now switch gears and launch a published full desktop. Note that there's a single sign-on experience, providing us with a Windows 11 published desktop, accessed from only a local browser. The Start menu on the desktop now shows some healthcare applications. They're all accessible from within the published desktop. The UDP protocol is also available, which optimizes our round-trip latency and bandwidth, contributing to an optimized user experience. The application can also leverage the GPU that is available on the remote machine. In this case, an NVIDIA Tesla M60 GPU. This allows you to also access graphics-intensive applications. As an example, here is an interactive HTML5 application that requires a GPU to be able to run. The task manager shown on the right-hand side is coming from the remote machine. It shows you are using the GPU that is available on the remote machine, in the data center or in the cloud. This is to optimize for any graphics-intensive application workloads. As you can see, it results in a very smooth use experience. And again, on the local device, it only requires a web browser. Imagine the healthcare employee now switches to another device, in this case an iPad. As you can see, the Parallels RAS client is installed on this iPad. This provides you access to the same applications as before. You can, for example, open the same published web application that we used before. This provides access to the same CT scanned image and video, and I'm able to access it from an iPad. Note that this published application runs smoothly because it uses the resource power on the data center or cloud side. You can also easily switch between published healthcare applications or switch back to all apps. Now switching devices one more time. Imagine the healthcare employee now switches to an iPhone. Again, you have the Parallels RAS client available, which provides access to the same published applications and desktops. For example, you can open the Windows application that was used before. This allows you to access any Windows application from an iPhone, including the toolbar visible on the right-hand side that we discussed before. You can navigate the app, access local files if needed, and also bring up a local keyboard. Of course, holding the iPhone in portrait mode is not very helpful for this particular application. Simply rotate the iPhone and the Parallels RAS client will automatically reconnect and show the application in landscape mode, allowing you to use it in a more efficient way. You can also open the radiology application used before on other devices and continue to work where you left off using the iPhone. And again, simply rotate the iPhone again to optimize for this specific application. 
Note that this published application runs smoothly because it uses the resource power on the data center or cloud side. And finally, even the graphics intensive application that was used before can be used on the iPhone as well. The iPhone is now rotated again, and you can interact with the application as if it were installed locally. You are accessing the data in a secure way and taking advantage of the power of the data center or cloud by leveraging the GPU of the remote machine. This concludes our video on accessing healthcare applications and desktops in a secure way from any device at any time using Parallels RAS. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the Parallels TechBytes series.